the new Pleasure Way on tours, uh, we had set everything standard. The options that you have is to pick your colors. So, Mia, Tavon, and David. This is our journey in finding the, the RV, RV for us. The goal of this channel is to share our journey with you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, hello, here we are. My name's Rick. We're here at Fritz RV. So here we have the Ontour 2.0 on the Ford Transit chassis, just under 20 feet long, uh, single rear wheels, uh, 3.5 liter EcoBoost V6 gasoline engine. So you get this real nice screen door for the side. This zips down all the way. And then once it's zipped down, you can get in and out with this magnetic catch. So you don't have to zip and unzip. Uh, stepping inside in the new Pleasure Way on tours, uh, we had set everything standard. The options that you have is to pick your colors. So the wood, they offer two options. This is the blonde maple cabinets. They offer the same exact cabinets, but with a darker stain that they call mocha. And then on your countertops, these are solid Corian counters. You have a stainless steel undermount sink. And these are available in this gray or in a lighter color they call uh, neutral, which is more of a beige, lighter color. And then your seats back here, you have the ultra leather material in either this gray color or in an almond, which is a lighter color, almost like this type of a color, a lighter like the tabletop. So that's it, wood, countertops, and seats. Apart from that, everything is standard. Uh, the cabinets are solid wood, same as all Pleasure Ways. The boxes are plywood with Formica laminate, all screwed and glued. Uh, mortise and tenon joints here. There's no uh, staples uh, or shortcuts taken. Nice residential quality hardware. Can you open all of them so they can see? Sure. Well, this is all the books you get with your Pleasure Way manuals and whatnot. But apart from that, you have three on this side mm -hmm. and then two on this side with a small one here, which contains your DVD and some of your electrical connections, along with the, the switch to turn your antenna off and on. Mm -hmm. But they're all solid plywood boxes. Um, a lot of the competitors use particle board or flake board. And then they cover it with a wrap, which is really like a vinyl mm -hmm. picture of wood. Uh, where Pleasure Way, it's all the real deal. All built right in Saskatoon in their own wood shop. Everything closes up nice and firm. Here you have a large drawer mm -hmm. directly underneath. You have a drawer here. These are the remotes for your entertainment, but these are all soft closed drawers. And then under here, you have storage as well. Um, underneath the fridge, they give you a couple of more drawers. That one's a real good size. And you see again, the soft close feature they incorporate into every one. And then there's another drawer and they close like that. Back here, this is you know, the new compressor refrigerator that is standard on the Ontour. This will run off of your batteries or shore power. There's no propane needed. The requirement to be level isn't as critical with this particular refrigerator. Small freezer box, but you keep some frozen burgers or little ice or popsicles in there. Um, and it also is going to get cold much, much faster than a uh, absorption refrigerator. Up here, that's a deep, goes all the way back as far as I can reach, uh, storage area. While we're looking up here, they also have the, the uh, large roof-mounted exhaust fan. That has variable speed control, and it has a rain sensor that if it gets uh, 
rained on, it'll close by itself. Uh, just moving around briefly here, I guess, if Kevon can swing around this way. Here's a wardrobe closet that uh, gives you some room for hanging clothes, jackets, and whatnot. So again, you can see the quality of the hardware, the way these doors are built. They're all handmade right at the factory in Saskatoon. The induction cooktop is a new feature for Pleasure Way. This uh, eliminates any open flame here in the kitchen area for safety. Uh, these induction tops, if you do a little research on them, they work with a magnetic pot. You need a particular type of uh, cookware. But once you heat your food, you take it off, this cools down almost instantly. So it's, it's a lot safer, a lot easier, and it'll operate right off of your lithium batteries. You have a microwave down here. Again, that'll work off of your, your inverter as well as being plugged in or with the uh, with shore power, can whichever you, you like. Can you open the Yeah, we'll open this up. It's a little bit smaller than some, but of course the whole motorhome scaled down to some extent. So mm -hmm. it's, it's fine for most people to do what they have to do. Your TV swings out like this. And this is a LG smart TV. So as long as you have internet access, you have uh, streaming capabilities for Netflix or whatever you have. Uh, and it also comes standard with a Bose soundbar, which sounds really nice. You can pair your phone right to the Bose soundbar and get uh, stream your music, uh, podcasts, whatever you have. Uh, it's really a nice sound. There's USB ports back here, one on each side. If you can see down in here, it's actually a double USB on each side. So there's a total of four back here. Uh, this is the set of blinds that go across the front for uh, privacy on the windshield and side doors. Here, why don't we get these out of the way? These can actually store up front behind the seat. Here, why don't you just lean those up there for me, David? Right. Yeah, so one of the benefits of the, the Ford Transit chassis is the interior height. Here they say it's, I believe it's just about six foot six. So it's, it's a nice airy feeling. It translates into the bathroom. Uh, you have plenty of room to stand in there for almost all people. Um, these lights are the only ones that work independent. There's two lights in here that you just touch so that you're free to operate them while you're in the bathroom. There's a window. Uh, this doesn't open, but it lets in some light and uh, gives you more of an open feeling when you're in there. You have a mirror. This is just a fixed mirror on here. It doesn't open, No, right? no, okay. no. In the smaller vehicle, they're trying to maximize the bathroom space to be able to stand here to shower. And you can see there's a, a drain under the rug. They give you a little piece of carpet. Mm -hmm. You have a porcelain bowl toilet. Mm -hmm. um, they've eliminated the sink in the mm -hmm. bathroom of the 2.0, which I guess is a little bit of a controversy. I see people comment uh, plus and minus. Yeah. But. Uh, Can you stand up, David? So you want to sure. see how it fit? So. So yeah. you're standing in there. Mm hmm. And then here's your shower curtain. Mm -hmm. This will come across here. And for most cases, if you were showering, you wouldn't have to close this door. Because and that would. Can you, you, know, you try to the, close it? Uh, the curtain, the curtain, the curtain. That's yeah, it's there. Velcroed back here, but yeah, I think or snapped. snapped. Go. Yeah, try it. Yeah, close it up. So that would just go like that. There's a little Velcro here to mm -hmm. catch mm -hmm. the side. Yeah. Top. How does it feel, David? Does it feel like you too could, small? Or? You could do what you have to do. Right. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yep. Okay. Now you're done. So yeah, again, the point of no sink in the bathroom, mm -hmm. uh, everybody has an opinion so, on that, but it certainly gives you more room to have a tiny sink stuck in the corner here would really impinge on your room. And you could actually put your hand in both sinks at the same time. Yeah. So when you're right done there, the door. and here's where you come and use your sink right here. Right. Okay. If such is necessary. Yep. Yep. Yeah.
Mm -hmm. I don't so know if you had any other questions. We have these windows. These are a little different than the 2.2 we looked at before in that they are a true awning window. You have one on each side. If you put it on the overhead fan, it's really startling how much air can be pulled through here on a muggy night. You can really get uh, a real nice airflow. Now, 2.2 doesn't have this awning window or no? Not as of now. I think that's going to change. It's going to change. But the one that we looked at here a few weeks ago with you had a window that popped out sideways. Mm -hmm. But I think they're uh, getting feedback from customers that these awning windows are popular. So I wouldn't be surprised if that's done as a running change here okay. shortly. Yeah. Uh, uh, privacy blinds all the way around. And these have little magnets built into them that adhere to these steel plates that are on each window. Um, we've looked at this in other videos, this lagoon table, which you can loosen it up a little bit. And then this spins all around. It's kind of fun because it's off center. So you can go all different ways with it, however you like. Or it can just come right off and be removed and stored away. Um, one thing with this model is you can extend the bed with the table in place if you just wanted to uh, take a nap. It's nice, the sofa, you can stop it wherever you want. So you could just recline like this and, and read or watch TV, or we can keep going. And extend it flat out. So. In this model, you'd sleep this way. Can you go the other okay. way? I, I want to see if I can lay across this way and David lay across this way. Okay. Well, I'm sure, sure you'll be able to, Mom. Yeah, let me, can you try? Yeah, you, you come and go on well, to this. We need to do a little, that's all right, we'll, we'll do a dance, dance yeah. around here. Yeah, so I want to see if I can. Uh, this, I guess. Yep, go ahead. Let's say we uh, take my shoes off. Now, of course, there's there's boards that go across here. We demonstrated that on another video. Right. That'll make that into a much larger bed. So let's but say, just to get the length. We, uh, we don't want to make the bed. We just want right. to sleep this way. Yeah. We can. my sneakers. No, that's okay. It looks like we can. Oh, wow. Just about. Yeah. We can do it. <laughs> I can do it. With your shoes off and curled up yeah. a little, you'd yeah, probably be yeah. okay. Yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah. So then we, we, don't have to make, we don't have to make the bed. <laughs> we don't have to put the board down. Yeah. Or you could have David sleep on the floor and then you'd have the whole bed to yourself. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> I gotta okay. sleep in the driver's seat. Yeah, there you go. Just recline a little bit. <laughs> yeah, because the width is the same for yeah, yeah. this yeah. one and the 2.0 and 2.2. Yes, it is. This bed is slightly shorter, but it's still... It's only two inches shorter. Right. This That was 79 inches. I believe this is yeah. 77 or so. Yeah, hello, hello. Hmm. It's our best angle. No, it is. Yeah. Right. Oh, this is good to know that we don't have to make the whole bed. No, if you just stop for a quick night, no, you could, certainly, yeah. Yeah. or just for a rest, you could pull over and there yeah. you'd be. I would just fit if I didn't have my. So I think on. what we would do is put this has its own sheets, and yeah. that one has its own sheets, and we might never have to use that. Just well, use this. Yeah. The fun thing is when you buy it, you can do whatever you want. What? There you go. What? <laughs> you mean that we can? We can do that? Oh, this is good I can do whatever I want. It's kind of an inside joke. People always ask us, well, what goes in here? What goes yeah. in there? I said, well, if you buy it, you can put whatever the yeah. heck you want in there. Whatever you want. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. And so, it's very comfortable. It is. Yeah. Bed. It's a memory foam. It is comfortable. Yeah. And it, it smooths out real nice. Yeah. Even where it looks a little lumpy when you lay on it, your your weight of your body just smooths that memory foam right out. Yeah. 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 And the, nice. uh, the uh, ultra leather is nice and soft it doesn't get real hot like real leather would you can wipe yeah. it up with spray cleaner if you'd spill something on it mm -hmm. you notice there you have the two shoulder belts in the back so if you have oh, rear yeah. seat passengers oh, uh, they can be belted in safely yeah. oh because two, child seats or whatever when we look at 2.2 they do not have the shoulder that's yet. correct yep I'm told that the newest versions that they're building, starting building now, yeah. are going to have shoulder belts. Okay. Okay. Good but uh, the earliest ones do not. Right. Right. Yeah. For some people, it's 
not that important, but exactly. for others it yeah. is. So, yeah. but in this they they do come with the shoulder belts. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then this is the, the what do you call that? Yeah, there's a rear the... screen that comes down, similar to the side door. Yeah. It's tucked up in there, yeah. and, and then, then there's a blind. One, the Sometimes they're all rolled up when they're new. There you go. So that comes all the way down. If you get the hang of adjusting it just right, yeah. it sticks against those metal plates. Nice. Look at that. Yep. So you're completely private yeah. uh, once you park and decide it's uh, time to close up. Yeah. That is very good to know that we can mm. lay yeah. like that. Yeah. So we, we never have to make the bed. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. I'll put the bed together. Yeah. See. It'd be your choice. But if, if we were to, you could sort of just flop it in. Yeah. we have a video, which is the, it's right here. We take this out. Yeah, the two boards go in between the, yeah, in between yeah. the side seats, and then the cushions rearrange, and you make one big bed. Yeah, so here are the boards in here. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, everything stores we'll away. we for the video of when we yes. put the bed together. Okay. There you go. Yes. Look at that. A, uh, Thank you, Rick. You're of, welcome. There's a lively discussion on alternate ways to do that very thing. You wouldn't think there was more yeah. than one, but there was. Well, I, yeah. I saw that someone had criticized the way I put the bed together. And, uh -huh. I, and I took a, I did the bed yeah. where I took these side cushions and put them in the middle. Right. And someone said, well, you just slide these cushions together and put the side cushions here. Right. Sure. Whatever floats your boat, you know, it both works. There is a little bit of a, of a lip on here. Right. Cause then you have to move. So, so they don't four sit, pieces. they don't sit as level if you bring these in the middle. Mm. Oh, okay. Because this sits up onto the bed board. Yeah. So right. it could still work for you. It's, okay. it's whatever works best for you. So, so here you can see the front of the new Ford Transit chassis. We have these nice, comfortable seats, which I think David can attest to. Um, and it's standard Ford equipment. We have all the cruise control, the hands-free Ford Sync system, which I think is due for an upgrade in the near future, but uh, works very well. Uh, all your controls are laid out just like a standard Ford car. So uh, very easy to drive. Good visibility. Good visibility. Mm -hmm. The windows are cut low. Uh, everything you need is right at your fingertips. You have some storage up here, little bins. They just don't waste any space wherever they can find it. And, you can put some loose items up there. Yeah, headroom. You won't bump your right. head into anything. In and out. There's no shelf here to... Mm -hmm. to Hit your head. Yep. Back here, if um, we can see, let me slide the seat up a little. This is a storage spot for your tabletop. So when you undo the table, it fits right here and is held in place by those two little clips. So if you want to make your bed into a full-size bed, you could stow your table right there. Mm -hmm. Everything has a place. Mm -hmm. uh, as the, the folks that have followed the pleasure ways know that we have this touch screen here okay. and this there's one at the front right by the door and then one back here and these control all your functions here's your lights so I can go and put all the lights off or on like that as many as I want they dim at the touch of a button all the lights dim. Here's your climate control. So you have air or heat uh, can be put on here. Actually, this is your air conditioning. The heat's controlled by your Truma controller above the door that I showed you earlier. Over here is the plumbing. So you can see your levels of fresh water as well as your two wastewater tanks, your propane. And then down here is the electrical section where you have your voltage this um here is showing the actual usage so sitting here with the lights on we're using two amps of power and then these lights here show your cooktop and your microwave uh, we have plenty of power they're ready to be used uh, off of your inverter and then to the right of that is the setup for your generator and this has a, a button to start and stop the generator and it also has the automatic uh, gen start they call it AGS which would allow you to program the generator to work in conjunction with your climate control you could have it operate the air conditioning or 
Uh, if your batteries got low, you could have it come on and top up your batteries. So that's your main home screen. Then you have the lights that I showed you earlier. You could turn them all off or turn them all on like that. Here we have a control to open and close the fan and control the fan speed. Here you put the awning in and out. And this is where you'd extend the sofa to convert it to a bed. So it's, it's a great multiplex wiring system that's uh, easy to use. Uh, if you would ever have a fault, it's very easy to diagnose a fault. A technician can go into this screen to diagnostics and it shows all your circuits. And if there was a fault somewhere, a red light would appear and he'd know right where to look. So here we hit faults and there's no faults. So typically there isn't, but if there ever were, it's very easy to track down. Rest up here above the door, we have an inverter that's 2000 watt inverter that uses your lithium batteries to uh, create power where you could plug in appliances, you could run your TV, your DVD player, uh, all off your batteries without having to start the generator or plug in. Uh, this is a controller for the solar panels. Uh, there's nothing really for the user to, to interact with this other than you can monitor what's going on. So here it shows we have fully charged batteries at right about 14 volts. Uh, this is the new Truma control for your hot water and your furnace. This one is called the Comfort Plus system. Uh, Truma is one of the top brands, if not the top brand in the industry. It's an on-demand, tankless style of water heater. And the furnace is now uh, ducted low here, so you get good heat off of your propane furnace.